Welcome back. So we're talking about pottery. And why is pottery so interesting to archaeologists? Well, in the first place, we find a lot of it. When we're talking about objects that are nearly 2,000 years old, things like food will rot away, your clothing will disintegrate, but ceramics will last for a long time. They're very durable, so we find a lot of it. In addition, they're very diagnostic of how people lived nearly 2,000 years ago. They tell us a lot. Each one of these objects has a story, and it can tell us a lot about how they lived. So let's take a, look, a closer look at a couple of these. So on the table in front of us, we have two bowls. We can tell there are some similarities and some differences. In the bottom of this bowl, we have some grit. What do you think that was used for? Yeah, if you said it's a grinder, you were exactly right. There would have been a wooden grinding baton to mix herbs with oil and maybe use the spout to pour it out. And this one is nice and smooth on the inside. But on the outside, we have these beautiful scenes. This is called Samian ware. Samian ware was imported from Gaul, or modern-day France. So this tells us that we used to trade with people from France. Our next two containers are very different. This container has a very wide mouth, and this one has a very narrow mouth. It also has a narrow neck. Now we don't think very often about pottery being a technology, but if I were to fill both of these with water and spill them, which one would empty out more quickly? That's right, it would be this one. So somebody had to develop a technology where it took longer for liquid to spill out of a container. Now this one would have been used to store really important things, such as wine, water, and olive oil. And this one would have been used to store something more like beans, where they could reach in and get out a handful, or they could use a scoop and get out, of ha uh, get out a handful. All right, I have one more to show you. And finally, we have our honey pot. Now, I think everyone, even today, can recognize this as a honey pot. What's interesting about this pot is it has some tiny little handles. So if you were to try and lift this pot from these tiny handles, it would be very difficult, especially because honey is quite heavy. So why would they have added these tiny handles onto this big, heavy pot? Some of you will have said for decoration, and you're absolutely right. Making things beautiful is a very important part um, of our lives. But in this case, they serve a function. This honey pot would have had a lid, because what besides people and bears like honey? Yeah, flies and bees. So we want to keep those nasty things out of our honey. So it would have had a leather lid that would have overlapped, and then they would have tied a string to keep the, the lid on tight. So that's what those handles are for. Now the reason why this is so important is because the Romans could have used a pot like this to keep their honey in, but they didn't. They made a special pot because honey was so important. Remember, they didn't have sugar, so the only thing that they had to sweeten their food with was honey. They also liked very flavorful foods, sour and sweet contrast. And finally, they would have used the honey as a preservative because it has a lot of antibacterial properties. So honey was an extremely important part of Roman life. So important that they made a pot just for it. So, by looking at just five different types of pottery, we've learned how Romans might have prepared food. We've learned that they traded with regions far away from them. We've learned that they've de developed technologies that helped make their lives better. And we've learned how important 
something like honey was to their diet. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!